Professor Weber. I'm sure you're tired of seeing my face, but this is the last one. Last time you got to see it all semester. Last video, marketing analytics. Let's knock this final exam out. So first question, what can be gained in marketing by using marketing analytics or gaming analytics? Excuse me. So first thing that's going to help you out is not the knowledge of knowing who's buying your product and where they are from. You know, like the age, uh, gender, where they are, like your demographics. That helps you out because you know who to market to a lot better. So by using by breaking it down by using the gaming analytics it helps you kind of break it down along with it also helps you understand what platforms they're buying it on so it helps you know okay what kind of person my what kind of person is buying this are they on instagram are they on facebook it helps you break all of that down and on top of that kind of summing it all up it makes it easier to track the reports like when you use the gaming analytics you're probably using one platform to check all the analytics so it makes it easier to track the reports so you can check on them on a daily basis. Second question, why are people concerned about companies like Google, Facebook, Verizon, or Apple collecting data on its users? Is there a positive aspect on society? How do you think big data aggregators should communicate their actions to society? I actually did took this one a little bit more personally. I figured I would actually go ask some people because some people are okay with it. Me personally, I am okay with it, but a lot of people are not. And the main reason for that is, is because people feel like it is an invasion of their privacy. You know, someone goes online and they're looking at something they don't really look at. Generally, they don't want to be reminded of it all the time. So like, let's say someone wants to go try a new product. They didn't like the product and it keeps giving them information about other products like that. If they didn't like the product, a lot of people kind of frown upon that. Is, it a po is there a positive aspect on society? I feel that there is because if there is a lot of stuff like that going around, if you go ahead and like, if they have that information, they know, okay, they didn't like this product. We'll show them this product. Instead, it kind of opens people up to a new way of thinking and it allows them to make better decisions. Okay, I didn't like this product. So I'm going to veer away from that and look at a different product. So Apple, Google, and all that, having that information helps benefit people on a regular basis. So this way they know, okay, I didn't like this product. Let's try this one out because it's different and it's a little bit better. And I feel like the company should explain that and the aspect of they are trying to benefit the whole society. They should, they should make it so it's like, hey, we understood you didn't like this product. We are apologizing that we don't affiliate with it. And not that they don't affiliate with it, but the fact of the matter is that they want to give you the best product available for whatever you're looking at. Question number three, how can artificial intelligence be used to make better marketing decisions? Marketing is probably one of the biggest things in the world. You market yourself every day. Artificial intelligence helps you do that. It can benefit your decision makings because mar this all kind of ties into one, by the way. Artificial intelligence can track all of your decisions and after it tracks your decisions. So once it's tracked them all, okay, it's going to look at the outcome, see if it was good or bad. And then on top of that, it will also calculate the best outcome available after that. So let's say you make a bad decision. Artificial intelligence can help you realize this is not a good decision and they will help you try to fix it. So artificial intelligence can basically shape shift a bad situation into a good one. Question number four, explain your rationale for setting up a social media listening center in your organization. Is there real benefit? My rationale for that would be so we can track where people are viewing from. It would basically give us, it's gaming analytics. It gives you all of the benefits to look at Hey, so we have a lot of people in this certain area of this age group and this gender. So now we know who we're marketing to. It helps you establish a target market. So having a social media listening center would definitely benefit in that aspect. And it would also help you benefit from profits because there, there would be real benefit out of it. Because if you know where to market to, who to market to, and what age like what appropriate age is this what where are we marketing it would help you increase your profits because you can market specifically to that age group 
And finally, question five, discuss how marketing analytics can be used to give a company a better return on investment. Marketing analytics really helps you do that because it's going to save a lot of resources. So instead of marketing in quantity, you're going to market in quality. You're going to market more efficiently. So marketing analytics kind of helps you gain that return on your investment because it's like, okay, it, all this ties in together. So we know where to market to. We know what our target market is. We know who they are, where they are, what they are, all of that. And if you know your target market, your target market's obviously more likely to buy the product. So if I'm marketing a t-shirt, one style, if I'm marketing and I see a lot of people from New York around the age 14 males are viewing the product, I now know where my target market is. I know now where it lies. I know exactly who I can market to to get a better return on investment instead of just blowing a bunch of money and trying to market to everyone. So marketing analyst kind of gives you that upper edge on people. So this way you know where you're marketing and who you're marketing to. Professor Weber, it was a great semester. Thank you for everything you have taught me and I look forward to using it in the future. I hope I see you in class again.